Okay, today we're going to talk about exploring periodic data in functions. So to start off with, let's define what a periodic function is. A periodic function is a function that repeats a pattern of y values or outputs at regular intervals. One complete pattern is called a cycle and the period of the function is the horizontal length of one cycle. So that means we're going to be looking along the x-axis to find the periods of our functions. Okay, so to start off with, they want us to analyze each periodic function, identify the cycle in two different ways, and what is the period of the function. Now, I find it easiest to um, find a maximum value, and then find the next maximum value, okay? And what you want to think to yourself when you're looking to determine the period is if you were to cut off a piece of, or copy a section of the graph between those two values that you marked, you can see if I put it right back, that's where it was, okay? And if I slide that along my x-axis, I come back and I match my graph exactly. Now, if that happens, then that means I have a periodic function. So that means the interval on the x-axis between these two points is a way to identify the cycle. So I could go between negative 3 and 1, or I could go from a minimum to a minimum, which in this case would be from negative 1 to 3, or you could look at the middle of it starting at 0 and go to the middle of it again and it goes to 4, so I have the point from 0 to 4. So I actually identified the cycle in three ways that time. But to answer the question, what is the period of the function? It's the distance of any of those intervals, which in this case would be 4. So the period of my function is 4. Okay, so to look at example B, again, I like to go from a max all the way through to another max. So this interval takes me from negative 3 to 0. If I went a min, I would go from negative 1 to 2. Oh, I didn't close that interval there. In either case, the length of the period is the distance of that interval, which is uh, 3 units. So my period of a function is 3. All right, our next example that we're going to look at is going to be to determine whether or not the period, the, excuse me, the function is periodic. So you need to go take a section of your graph. Um, you know, you go from max to a max. If you think it does, you know, if I start at a max, I go down and then I go back up and then I go down and back up. So a max to a max seems to cover it. So to get that graph on the whole thing, I'm going to go from a max to a max. And if I take that section of my graph, you see this is where it was, and I slide it over, I don't match because I'd have to go down for it to match. So that's an example of enough or showing you'd have to be able to slide directly along the same horizontal line. So this particular function is not periodic. It does have a pattern to it, but it's not periodic defined as we have. Okay, looking at the next one, again, trying from a max. Let's go from this max over to that max. Sometimes my things copy some extra lines in there. So that's where it was. And you see if I slide it over, it looks like it would continue the same way and look like the same function. So in this case, we do have a periodic function. And our period is going to be from negative 2 to positive 2, which hopefully you can see is a distance of 4. Okay, next we need to talk about the midline. 
the midline of a periodic function is the horizontal line midway between the maximum and the minimum values of a periodic function. We have a midline. We also have to talk about the amplitude. And the amplitude of a function is half the difference between the maximum and minimum values of the function. So simplified, or in mathematical terms, amplitude equals one half max minus the min. Sometimes I refer to that as max minus the min over two. Same thing, right? Now looking down at our, um, I have a diagram here just to help see the different values. We have here pointing at the maximum value of a graph. Down here I'm pointing at the minimum value of the graph. The purple line here is pointing to the midline. And later we're going to have to find that equation of a midline. The equation of the midline is just going to be your max plus your min over 2. And then the red is showing you the amplitude. The amplitude, again, is half the difference between the max or the min, which is why it's the distance from the midline up or the midline down. So here is our amplitude in a graph. Amplitude. Keep in mind, amplitude is always a positive number always positive. So if you're asked for what the amplitude is of a function, don't give a negative answer. All right, so let's go calculate the amplitude and period, excuse me, the amplitude and the midline for each of these problems down here. So looking at A, if I need the amplitude, I've got to find the max and the min. So my max is kind of uh, I have a hard time reading that. Max is 1. My min is negative 2. And my amplitude is the max minus the min over 2, which becomes 3 over 2. So my amplitude is, you can just leave it 3 over 2. My midline my midline says I'm going to do the max plus the min over 2. So in this case, I'm going to do 1 plus negative 2 over 2. And so that gives me a midline. It's an equation, so you have to have y equals. y equals negative 1 half. And hopefully you can see that is about right here on the graph. And that looks like it's halfway between your max and min values. Okay, second example. Um, what is the maximum? Maximum right here. We're going from 0 to 4. So this is 2, making that max 3. And my min looks like it's on the x-axis. So that makes it 0. And so my amplitude, max minus the min over 2. So my amplitude is 3 halves again. My midline is the max plus the min over 2, which makes my midline y equals 3 over 2. And again, if you want to look at that, that's 3 over 2 is 1.5. So it's going to be somewhere around here where you can see with my bad drawing of a horizontal line. Okay, last but not least, we have a periodic function uh, with sound waves. 
Okay, you're given a graph. Sound is produced by periodic changes in air pressure called sound waves. They want us to find the period, the amplitude, and the equation of the midline. So the period, remember I like to start at a max. So I'm starting, I'm looking for a cycle. But think about what you're doing. When I start at the max, I go down and then up. Excuse me, that's not up. Down, over, up, across. Down, over, up, across. So that means I started to repeat what I was doing right there. So be careful about finding that max when it when it's doing horizontal like that. So my period is going to go from, if that's 0 0.004, five six seven eight so this is point zero zero five and this is point zero one one so my period is to find the difference between those two which is point zero zero didn't write that correctly period is point zero zero six all right my amplitude Okay, amplitude is max. What's my max over here? Max looks like it is negative 0.5. My min is negative 1. So I have my max uh, minus my min over 2. And that gives me 0.5 over 2. So my amplitude is 0.25. And the equation of my line, my midline is max plus min over 2. And when I simplify that, that gives me, what is that? That's negative uh, 1.5 over 2. So my midline is y equals negative 0.75. So that concludes talking about periodic data and being able to find the period, amplitude, and midline and determining whether or not we have a periodic function.